bit about health and welfare. Okay? So, before we start talking about health, okay, let's first discuss these two pictures. Okay? What do you see in this picture? And in this picture. Okay, so here we have two different people. Okay? So, this is a, a man who is fit. Okay? So, he has a good shape. So, he is fit. Okay? He has muscle, as you see. Okay? So, this person is doing what? Of course, he practices Habits, 
Okay. Good. Healthy. Habit. Are good habits. Okay. So these are good habits. So this person is healthy. Okay. Is healthy. But this person is suffering from obesity. This person, the second person, is suffering from obesity. So he is unhealthy. Unhealthy. Okay. Why? Because his habits are bad. Are bad habits or unhealthy habits. Okay, now let us move on to the next part. See you. Bye. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now let us have a look at this proverb. It says prevention is better than cure. Uh, let us have a look at two at these two uh, key items. Okay, so we have prevention, prevention equals what? So prevention is the cure. Prevention equals cure. What do we mean by cure? And what do we mean by prevention? If you try to avoid, for example, if you avoid eating junk food, what is going to happen after? You are not going to be sick. Or if you are sick, you are going to, to be healthy. Okay? So we have to, to, to change our habits from bad to good habits. So here... Here, avoiding the bad habits, avoiding the bad habits. So, avoiding the bad habits is the cure, is what, what makes you uh, healthy all the time okay what do we mean by healthy so never never be sick never be sick now let us discuss let us discuss some of the good habits okay that can make us healthy okay good so if you avoid eating junk food so here avoid avoid junk food okay if you avoid junk food and eat fruits huh, instead right or replace replace it by fruit and vegetables mm -hmm. instead of drinking lemonade for example you drink uh, all the types of juice that you have here in the picture okay so avoid junk food now here eat healthy food Okay, try to get enough sleep. Try to get to get enough sleep. So everyone has to sleep for at least uh, eight hours a day if you want to be healthy. Okay, so you have to sleep at least for eight hours a day. So it's better to go to bed early. Okay, to go to bed 
okay? Early and not late, okay? Uh, don't stay up late for uh, the whole night, okay? So, uh, what else? What else? Don't smoke, okay? Don't <laughs> smoke or uh, use drugs. Sorry, use drugs. Don't eat between meals, okay? And try to exercise or to practice sport, okay? So you practice, practice. So all these things that I mentioned here can uh, make you healthy. So all these good habits is the cure. So this is what we mean by prevention is better than cure. Now let's just move on to the next part and see vocabulary related to health. See you! Back again, so uh, let me use another color for uh, vocabulary written, okay, home, good, now let's uh, circle it or decorate it a little bit for it to be clear, good, so when you say home, we refer to what, okay, again, we refer to healthy, what we mentioned at the beginning, okay, healthy, healthy food, okay, or healthy habits, so healthy food, okay, what else, okay, so um, imagine you add something wrong, okay? You went to a restaurant and you add a sandwich that is not uh, good and at night you had some trouble inside of your stomach, okay? You were uh, feeling uh, pain at the level of your stomach, so you had a stomach ache. So here, in this case, uh, what are you going to do? So when you have a stomach ache, you you do what? You call a means of transportation uh -huh, that can take you to the place where they are going to take care of you and to cure you. So you can call the ambulance, okay? To call the ambulance. Great. That ambulance takes you to the hospital, right? Takes you to the hospital, okay? In order to have a treatment, right? So, uh, uh, in order to be cured, because you are looking for a cure, okay? After going to the hospital, you are going to see a, a doctor. The doctor is going to prescribe a list of the medicine, okay? Medicine. Medicine is like Dolipran, etc. Is going to prescribe a medicine for you. Good. Yes. Right. Great. So he's going to prescribe to write a prescription. Okay. To la to write a list of um, medicine that you are going to buy from which place? Prescription. <laughs> so you take the prescription. Okay. And you go to see. Uh huh. You go to the drug store. 
what do we mean by drug store? Drug store, we say drug store or pharmacy. Okay? And both are correct. Good. You go to the drug store in order to buy medicine. Okay? What else? So, in order to be healthy, okay, you have to eat healthy food. Uh huh. You have to practice sports. Uh huh. You have to do what else? Practice sport. Uh huh. And. And what? Yeah, drink, drink as much water as you can. Okay. So let's write write it here. Drink as much water as you can. Don't use drugs. Okay. Don't use drugs. Okay, because if you use drugs, you are going to suffer from health problems. Okay, so let's write health problems here. Health problems. Good. Now, let us move on to the next part, which is Using the vocabulary that we learned in sentences, okay? I'm going to give you an exercise. Uh, take some time to do it, uh, uh, to do the exercise, then uh, we will correct it later on. Okay, so let's do the exercise, but first let me explain the words, okay? So, healthy food, as I said before, it's like vegetables, fruits, uh -huh. so when you try to keep a balanced diet, uh, you know, practice sport or play sport or do exercise, okay? Injection, so uh, when you have a sore throat, okay, you go and take an extensiline injection, okay? You know extensiline or, uh, yes, extensiline injection right now people here because of this uh, the virus that is spreading very quickly okay and what is known in the era uh, yes uh, so we have to take an injection so as to prevent ourselves from being uh, <coughs> sick okay from catching the same virus Okay, or suffering from the same virus. So we have drugs like, uh, so there are some people who are smoking drugs or like cocaine, etc. So sick or being ill, so when you have a headache, okay, you are sick. When you have a stomach ache, you are sick. When you have a sore throat, you are sick. When you cut <coughs> and sneeze, you are sick, right? Good. Now, the ambulance, uh, you all know it, but to drug store is the place from where you buy medicine. Okay, now, let us correct. You are very sick, you should go to the hospital. Okay, you should go to the, to the hospital and see the, the doctor. Good. Uh huh. That is a car which takes patients to the hospital, the ambulance. So please try to correct your answers and to check up your answers. If they are correct, it's right. If they are not correct, uh, try to correct them, please. So let's turn the board now. I'm very sorry because I have just I just have this little. Board. I don't know if it's clear. Let me check. Ah, uh, good. So, 
we need the top of the board gray <laughs> so patients can buy <coughs> medicine okay from where let me adjust the light it's not clear it is not clear okay people can buy medicine can buy medicine from the drugstore or the pharmacy okay the drug store good children should take uh-huh and yes injection good against dangerous diseases you should practice what of course sports okay every day and eat healthy healthy food people who use uh, what okay let me check again all right i have to adjust the camera so people who use uh-huh would have many health problems of course, the people who use drugs. Okay. We have many health problems. Tony did not come to school yesterday because he was sick. Okay. This is an answer that I have given you in advance. Okay. So, uh, thank you for watching me. And I will add the last part and... See you after. Hey guys, so these are um, some uh, sentences, okay, in order to practice what we have dealt with okay so we have fill in the blanks with the correct words from the list below okay so we have healthy food sports injection drugs sick ambulance doctor drugstore you are very sick you should go to the and see the great okay try to do the exercise and we will correct it later the Number two, the is a car which take patients to the hospital, right? Next, patients can buy medicine from the which place, right? Good. So, children should take a what? Okay. And against dangerous diseases like Corona, for example, okay, we have to take an in, right? So you should practice uh -huh, every day and eat what? What kind of food? Good. So people who use, uh huh, they use what? Like cocaine is, it is what? Will have many health problems. Mm -hmm. Tony did not come to school yesterday because he was sick so this one i did it in advance so sorry okay so sick or ill okay hi again so i'm here to correct with uh, to correct this exercise with you so here you are going to write your own sentences use and should and shouldn't to keep a good health uh-huh people should Example, people should practice sport. People shouldn't eat junk food. Great. So I want you now to follow these two examples and to write your own exams. Yeah, is it done? 
sleep. Uh -huh. People should eat healthy, healthy food. Sorry, I didn't write the verbs. Should eat healthy food. People should eat healthy food. Right? People should have a medical check up uh, at least once a year. Okay? Have a medical check up. Sorry. Check up at least once a year. Now here, shouldn't. People shouldn't eat junk food. People shouldn't smoke or use the drugs or drink a drink wine or soda. Okay? People shouldn't eat between meals. Shouldn't eat between meals. People shouldn't stay up uh -huh, late. Shouldn't stay up late at night. So these are some of uh, the examples, okay, that you can use to us to write your paragraph, okay, about how to keep a good health, okay. So um, now I would like you uh, to take those ideas and to use the proverb given to you in order to write your own paragraph, okay? So this will be your homework and see you in another session uh, in which we are going to do a correction of the paragraph and bye-bye, have, have a great night and a great morning, okay? Yeah.